Hello people, it's Connor Member. I haven't uploaded in a while. I am sorry, I've been a lazy bastard. I have had school shit to do. So, um, yeah, let's just blame that. And um, welcome to the first LMG tips and tricks, build your class, whatever episode. Uh, we'll all be talking about the Mark 40. Eight. And this series started with me looking at Xbox, Xbox Ahoy's um, weapon guide on this weapon, and I thought it's a bit too defensive this build. It, since this game mostly focuses on short and medium range encounters, it is kind of hard playing with such a defensive class. You will not have these long range options to uh, shoot at shoot at people. So I thought I'm, I'm going to make my own episode. Um, using some of the attachments that benefits the LMGs the most, such as uh, stock and laser sight. First, however, I'll be going through the stats of the Mark 48. The Mark 48 is a very high damage LMG, dealing 49 damage up close and drops off to 30 at a distance. This means that its shot to kill ranges are only 3 and 4 shot kills, there is no way this weapon will kill in less than 3 shots or more than 4 shots. Also, its 3 shot kill is extremely impressive. The 3 shot kill range on the Mark 48 is 83 meters approximately. This is longer than almost all ranges in the game and you will rarely find yourself needing 4 shot kills. 4 shot to kill an enemy. However, however if you equip rapid fire the 3 shot kill range goes down all the way to 49 meters a distance which you will encounter every now and then so it is not the best attachment for the LMGs this very high damage and range is however made up for by the slow RPM of 600 rounds per minute this is the slowest almost the slowest of all automatic firing, firing weapons in the game unless you um, can away the um, full auto FAL and SMR and it is on par with the hammer um, when it has fired its first six rapid shots. These damage statistics, the range and that rate of fire gives the Mark 48 a time to kill of 0 0.22 seconds to 0 0.32 seconds. So the interval is fairly little, and the time to kill is in general rather fast. It has 100 bullets in its clip, which is normal for the LMGs, but enormous compared to the other weapons. And considering how few shots it takes to kill every enemy, these are the 100 bullets that can kill the most enemies of all weapons in the entire game. So far the factors have been very positive and if you use this weapon properly there will be gold at the end of the rainbow for you. However, there are a few things that you need to fix first. The hip spread is very high and considering its low RPM it can be a bit inconsistent. Its movement speed is at 90%, the lowest of all weapons. So this is also a bit of a problem. Its movement speed when you aim down sights, I do not have any exact data on this, but I think it is about 35%, so you will be extremely bloat and slow moving once you aim down your sights, and you've really got to consider this if you're not using stock. A good factor, however, and a very important factor for our weapon build, is that it has a 1.2 headshot multiplier. Considering it has 49 in max damage and a good range, you can get, if you shoot, get one shot in the head and one body shot, you will kill in two shots up to approximately 15 meters. This is a very, very good factor and very nice factor and you should always have that in consideration. So don't be too scared of the close quarter uh, engagement. You can surprise the SMGs by hopping into the enemy's face and getting a two shot kill. You can drop them very quickly like that. For some more negative handling traits on the Mark 48, it has a knife speed of 1.5 approximately, aim down sight time of 0.5, aim down sight out 0.4, race time 0.83 and drop time 0.52. These are all 
average for the LMGs, but very, very bad compared to all the other weapons in the games. Only some of the snipers are sometimes on par with this. It has also got the slowest reload times, reload time of all the weapons in the game at 8 seconds. However, however, you can reload cancel this to bring it down to f about five and a half seconds. So this is very important that you learn how to reload cancel because it saves a lot of time. However, it is not viable to equip fast mags because you it brings it down to about four seconds, I think. However, four seconds is still such a long time that you will have to back out the battle. So when you have backed out a battle, four seconds or five and a half isn't really such a big difference well enough about those statistics for now let's move into the recoil i've only done one wall testing on this and generally i think that you should do many but the result was so clear that i didn't feel i have to do any more than one that is indeed a tight cluster and its accuracy can be summed up by saying it's got high per shot recoil but low rate of fire. It is however not the recoil that makes this weapon a bit tricky to use at long range with the iron sights. As you can see the iron sights are very bulgy on this side, it's got a small thing in the middle which makes it difficult to see things around the sights and below it. As you can see here there's a replay from earlier and therefore it is a lot more preferable having something with clear vision and that doesn't have these large things on the sides that blocks off a whole lot that you can that you can see while using a red dot. As you can see these sights are here again, this time I'm using it with a silencer, the muscle flash is removed but the things are still there so it's still a problem. ACOG is a good choice if it wouldn't have been for the slow handling traits it provides and a blurred vision. The target finder also provides a clear vision on target but around it brings in new, uh, new things to block you off and prevent you from seeing, ar seeing around your target. So red dot is preferable and here's a quick look at how it looks when you shoot in with normal iron sights. As you can see there's not much you can see and comparing it with the red dot sight you have a lot clearer vision even when you're firing the muscle flash doesn't take up that much you're zoomed out more so that you can see more around you and here's with the suppressor there's no muscle flash, so it's not that big of a problem, but you still have the large bulgy iron sights, and the suppressor isn't the, isn't the best choice for LMGs, since it harms the range pretty much, especially this one. It reduces it from 83 meter 3-shot kill range to 58, which is not what you want to do with such a great long-range weapon. So, to sum up, it does have an enormous long-range potential if you equip something that fix the bulgy iron sights a bit. You do not need to buff the weapon's long range capability since that is already great. What you need to buff however is its close combat performance and you need to kind of exploit this that it does have a potential to kill in two shots at close range if you get one headshot in. Also it's very very slow moving when you aim down sights which is something we are also going to fix with our build. Starting off solely with the weapon, we will first decrease some of the very very slow handling traits on the weapon. It is a bit clumsy, it's a bit obstructive and that's what we're going to fix with our first thing on our build, except for the Mark 48 itself. We're going to use the primary gunfighter wildcard, which will allow us to have three primary attachments and with those three strongly decrease the bad handling traits. Our first choice is the reflex sight. It removes the very very big obstructing things on the sides of the iron sight and it also gives a very clear vision even when firing. The muscle flash doesn't make such a big problem anymore. For the other optic attachments such as the EOTEC, target finder, ACOG and dual band you might get rid of the things on the sides of the iron sight but instead you'll have new places where the vision is blurred and we want clear vision to be able to see the enemy quickly and take him down with only three shots. The suppressor might be a viable choice since it does remove the muscle flash and makes it a bit easier to use the iron sights however the enemies can still get lost in the big bulgy things on the sides and below so 
and also it does hamper the range pretty much by 20 meters 23 25 something like that so I prefer to use the reflex sight because it doesn't hamper range and you get a very clear vision on the target as well as giving you a lower zoom to see more on your screen the laser sight gives the biggest buff to the LMGs of all the weapons and with the Mark 48 potential two, hot, two shot kill at close range you can be very very devastating if you only get two shots on target quickly the SMGs and shotguns that have decided they cannot win against you at longer ranges that'll try to pop into your face will be taken by surprise when you just hose them down incredibly quickly also the laser sight helps you reduce your aim down sights delay which is very useful for this weapon since it has a, a long time to aim down sights the adjustable stock does as well give the LMGs the biggest buff of all weapons, bringing your aim down sights movement speed from 35% to 77, an increase by 42%, very big amount and very well useful since you will be the front border guard and you need to move quickly to not be caught by frags, semtexes and C4 as well as other explosives. Don't go in a fight unprepared. Don't walk around a corner unprepared, have it aimed down sights and move quickly with the help of stock. With the weapon itself buffed and covered, let's move over to the secondary. The FHJ-18AA, well that's a long name, is a very good weapon for taking down air support. That is going to be your main task with it since you're not directly on the front line, you're more to be, supposed to be a little behind your friends and therefore you will have time to take it up and shoot down UAVs and other air support to help your team and yourself because you won't have to pick blind eye as a perk as well as getting a rather healthy buff to your score streaks. Now that wasps or bees aren't any problem, let's move over to the perks. Some things the blue perks shield you against is th are things that we already have or self defended against with our build with the Mark 48 and the secondary. Ghost won't be necessary since we always keep mobile. Flak jacket, same thing, we will stay mobile and avoid rolling frags and sticking semtexes by constantly moving along, even when aiming down sights. As well as blind, li blind eye not being necessary since we will take down the air support by ourselves and not be troubled by it. It then boils down to whether you prefer the lightweight to move faster, to be even more mobile along the front, to move back and forth and to take a few orthodox shortcuts or you can pick the hard line to, to further buff the score gained by taking down air support with the launcher. My preferred choice is hard line since you can get a lot of UAVs and counter UAVs up in the air. This gives you important vision of how you're going to put the front, how you're going to face the enemies with this weapon, since being aware of this, their place and being able to aim down sights before you battle them is a very key point in our strategy. For second perk, only toughness is a viable choice. It helps you stay on target, which is viable. Missing just one shot lowers your time to kill a lot more than on a high fire rate gun. Every shot counts a lot more than with the SMGs and the ARs. The LMG needs to stay on target all the time. As for the third perks, I have two options. The first one being Tactical Mask. It allows you to not only move along the front quickly, but also do it when it's raining frags and concussioners on you. Once you stop dead in your tracks, You'll have frags, subtexes and C4s as well as other explosives raining at you. You'll be a very easy target, you're slow, you are bloat, you do not have flak jacket and therefore with tactical mask we will not be stunned, we will not stand still, we will always keep moving and we'll give the explosives a hell of a time to catch us. The second option is dexterity. It furthermore increases your handling traits it decreases some of the bad handling traits, makes you a bit more mobile and makes you a bit more able to fight in close quarter. However, we are not supposed to sprint. We are supposed to move with stock and aim down sights and the mantle and climb time faster is not, is not often going to be a life saving trait. It is just a little nice bonus, but well, I prefer the tactical mask if you haven't guessed already, but the dexterity 
is interesting for the people that can't, that don't really want to aim down sights all the time, likes to sprint a bit, play even more aggressive. Now I only have one thing left to choose, and as we didn't pick a launcher that was able to point against groups of enemies, an exploding lethal. The Semtex has a short fuse and is therefore very good to throw onto objectives. Enemies won't have time to escape and they cannot throw it back. Another trait the Semtex has is being loud and noisy. It peeps and you can see it when people throw it close to you compared to the C4. The enemies will be very urgent to get out of there, to stick their head out, just, just run away. Unless they have flag jacket of course. When they pop up, you have your aim ready and you ban them right down. It's a very interesting tactic for taking down hiding enemies. That's all for our build. Building around a very, very deadly, mobile and unstoppable killing machine as primary. As well as supporting your team with a nice secondary launcher taking down air support. And hardline to get your own air support up in the air. The Semtex will help you against groups of enemies as well as making pesky enemies hiding stick out their head in front of you a mighty pipe of the Mark 48. The only actual range you'll have a little trouble at is the medium range encounters where some of the assault rifles may have a higher time to kill and be a bit more quicker on the aim. But those ranges are where you're supposed to use your stock and really get into the fight prepared because then they don't really have that much of an advantage. A surprisingly hard striking and fast killing weapons, it will surprise the enemies if you only play it right. You will surprise the enemies by being prepared once you meet them. Hope you enjoyed the video. This has been Contra Member. Adios.